In this video, I have a super quick tutorial showing you how to create a knowledge graph and Lang extract to build a powerful chatbot for your business or personal use. In today's data-driven world, much valuable information is hidden in unstructured text. For example, clinical records, lengthy legal contracts, or user feedback threads. Extracting meaningful and traceable information from these documents has always been a dual challenge, both technically and practically. On July 30th, 2025, Google released the open source AI program Lang Extract. This tool accurately extracts only the necessary information from the types of text we read every day, such as emails, reports, and medical records, and organizes it into a format that is easy for computers to process. While AI is very useful, it also has weaknesses, such as generating hallucinations, providing incorrect information, having a limited amount of information it can retain at one time, and sometimes giving different answers each time. Lang Extract was created as a smart bridge to compensate for these weaknesses of AI and transform AI's ability to understand text into the ability to extract reliable information. So, let me give you a quick demo of a live chatbot to show you what I mean. I will ask the chatbot a question. Apple Inc was founded by Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak in 1976. The company is headquartered in Cupertino, California. Steve Jobs served as CEO until his death in 2011. If you take a look at how the agent generates the output, you'll see that the agent it extracts entities using the document extractor tool, which leverages Lang Extract with dynamic few shot learning examples that automatically select appropriate extraction templates based on query keywords when the system detects keywords like financial, revenue, or company. It applies business-focused examples that properly classify entities as company names, people, locations, and dates rather than generic categories. The entity extraction process runs in parallel with relationship extraction, where the system identifies connections between entities such as founded by, headquartered in, and competes with relationships by analyzing the contextual information within each document. Once both entities and relationships are extracted, the build graph data function constructs a graph structure creating nodes for each unique entity and edges for each discovered relationship with a robust fallback mechanism that ensures connectivity by creating related to edges between all entities when explicit relationships aren't found. And the final visualization layer uses Streamlit Agraph to render an interactive knowledge graph where users can explore the connections between companies, founders, locations, and other business entities with the entire system operating in memory without file operations and providing real-time debugging information to show the number of entities and relationships discovered, ultimately enabling users to query the knowledge graph and receive filtered results based on their specific questions about the technology companies and their interconnections. Stay tuned throughout the end of this video. If you guys haven't followed me, I highly recommend that you do so, so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. Lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn the notification, bell like this video, and check out previous videos because there is a lot of content that you will definitely benefit from. So that thought, let's get right back into the video. Lang Extract is a publicly available Google's latest open source feature that might finally bring sanity back to developers and data teams. This tool doesn't just use AI to extract information. It combines each extraction with the original text. Lang Extract acts as a special mechanism built on top of LLM to maximize its capabilities by addressing challenges AI faces in information extraction, such as hallucination, imprecision, limited context windows, and non-determinism. The core strength of Lang Extract lies in its programmatic extraction capability. It not only identifies the required information precisely, but also links each extracted result to the exact character position in the original text. This traceability allows users to highlight and verify results, significantly improving data reliability interactively. Lang Extract comes with a range of powerful features. It can process long documents with millions of tokens efficiently through chunking, parallel computation, and multi-pass extraction to ensure high recall. It produces structured outputs directly 
eliminating the need for traditional RAG workflows such as chunking and embeddings. It is also compatible with both cloud-based models like Gemini and local open source large models, making it highly adaptable. In addition, it supports custom prompt templates, allowing easy adaptation to different domains. Let us now explore step-by-step -step and unravel the answer to how to create a graph with the Lang Extract chatbot. We will install the libraries that support the model. For this, we will do a pip install requirements. The next step is the usual one. We will import the relevant libraries, the significance of which will become evident as we proceed. Lang Extract is a Python library that uses LLMs to extract structured information from unstructured text documents based on user-defined instructions. Streamlit Agraph is a custom component for the Streamlit framework designed specifically for creating interactive graphs. Let's create the function document extractor tool that takes two strings, the unstructured text and the user query. The function returns a Python dictionary, making it easy to convert into JSON later. Inside, we first build a clean prompt text wrap dot dident where you tell the model its role, an expert extractor, the task, pull out relevant info, and the specific query to focus on. Next, we prepare few shot examples to guide the extractor. Based on the query, you check for keywords. If it's financial, it provides a company revenue example. If it's legal, you give a contract example. If it's social or restaurant, it provides a feedback example. Otherwise, it uses a generic Romeo Juliet example. These short examples demonstrate how the model should process the extractions and ensure the output structure is clear. Finally, you call lx.extract passing the text, prompt, examples, and an API key stored safely in an environment variable. You log the results for debugging, then normalize the output so each extraction is a plain dictionary with text, class, and attributes. The function returns a single dictionary containing all extracted data in a clean, structured format, ready to be saved, printed, or sent to another system. Then the function is called load the Gemini key, and it returns a tuple with two things, the key itself, string, and a flag boolean that tells you if the key is available. At the start, it sets key as an empty string and is key provided as false. Then it checks if a file called secrets.toml exists and if it contains Google AP key. If yes, it pulls the key from there, shows a green success message in the sidebar saying it's using the secrets file and sets the flag to true. If the key isn't found in the secrets file, it falls back to asking the user directly. In the sidebar, it shows a password style text input box where the user can paste their Gemini API key. If the user enters something, it displays another green success message and sets the flag to true. If they leave it empty, it shows a red error message saying there's no key. Next, we made format output. Our graph takes a dictionary with nodes and edges and converts each node into a node object and each edge into an edge object, returning two lists ready for visualization. And we create display agraph, then sets up the graph's appearance and behavior with a config object controlling width, height, directed layout, physics simulation, hierarchical layout, highlight color, collapsibility, and which property to use as the node label. Finally, it calls agraph with the nodes, edges, and config to render the graph in the Streamlit app, providing a simple pipeline from raw graph data to an interactive styled visualization. After that, we develop the extract entities function loops through each document and calls document extractor tool with a query to extract financial entities like company names, revenue figures, and fiscal periods, collecting all results into a single list. Similarly, extract relationships processes each document to extract connections and relationships between these entities, such as revenue links between companies and fiscal periods again aggregating all results into a list. Together, they convert raw text documents into structured entity and relationship data that can later be used to build a graph or knowledge network. Next, we build build art graph bark data. First converts each entity into a graph node, assigning a unique ID, label, and type while storing a mapping from text to node ID. It then processes relationships. For each relationship, it searches for mentioned entities and creates edges connecting them with the relationship type as the label. If no explicit relationships are found, 
it falls back to generating simple co-occurrence edges between all entities to ensure the graph is connected. Then the answer query function lets you search the extracted data. It splits the query into words and finds entities whose text or attributes match any of those words, doing the same for relationships. It returns a dictionary containing the query, lists of relevant entities and relationships, and counts of each. Then we create process documents. Function is the main pipeline that ties everything together. It takes a list of text documents and an optional query. First, it calls extract entities and extract relationships to pull structured financial entities and their connections from the documents. Then print debug info showing how many entities and relationships were found. Next, it passes these to build graph data, create nodes and edges for visualization and prints debug info about the graph size. Finally, if a query is provided, it calls answer query to find relevant entities and relationships matching the query. The function returns a dictionary containing all extracted entities, relationships, the graph data, and any query results, giving a complete structured view of the documents and making it easy to visualize or analyze further. Finally, we set the page title and layout, then display a header. Next, it loads the Gemini API key if no key is provided, it warns the user and stops execution. If a key is available, it sets it as an environment variable so the extractor functions can use it. The app uses a set of predefined documents about tech companies and displays a success message indicating how many documents will be processed. Users can optionally enter a query in a text input. When the process documents button is clicked, it process documents is called with the documents and an optional query. This returns entities, relationships, graph data, and query results. The results are displayed in four tabs, graph visualization, entities, relationships, and query results. In the graph tab, format, output, a graph, and display a graph render, an interactive knowledge graph. The entities and relationships tabs show extracted items with expandable JSON details for each. The query tab displays relevant results if a query was provided. Altogether, this function ties the full pipeline into an interactive, user-friendly streamlit interface. LangExtract alone cannot solve everything, but new AI tools must be developed and released. Using various AI tools together will highlight the problems with each tool, leading to further improvements. AI has made remarkable progress in recent years, but behind this progress is feedback from many people. There is no failure in using AI. It might be a good idea to try it out first and develop AI ourselves.